Yar, hoy there, lads. It be time for another Primal Carnage episode. Arr, let's go set sail on the seven seas and, uh, find some buried treasure in the form of rare cosmetics. Arr. <laughs> okay, this is what happens when I get too comfortable with recording. Okay, I need to go back to the days where I was, like, you know, very unenthusiastic because, like, once you go down that path of, like, psychotic YouTuber, there's no turning back. So, hey y'all, it's Pesky, once again, back for another episode of Can We Hit 20,000 Subs by December 31st? Probably not. But hey, it's up to you all, I suppose, so, I mean, it would be real nice if you could subscribe. Hee <laughs> hee. Primal Carnage Extinction has, of course, updated again. They've been really going full steam ahead with the updates. So as always, I'll put the patch notes in the description, but the main things that they did, they fixed Knockback because last update, Knockback completely broke. It was just non-existent. Bullets slowed down dinosaurs, which is also a bug, and that got fixed, thankfully. Um, I think Acro got brought down by a thousand health. I think Rex got brought down by 1200, and I want to say Spino got knocked down by 1200 as well, but I don't know the exact values. Um, basically, the reasoning for this was because Tyrants have been given armor now. So I'll put the image up of where the new armor locations are on the Tyrants, and they have weak spots on their head now. So if you shoot a Tyrant in its face, it, gets, uh, it takes more damage. If you shoot it in an armored spot, it takes less damage. If you shoot it in a not armored spot, it just takes regular damage. So that's a change that happened. Another change that happened is the respawn system. If I'm correct, the way it works now is if you die, you have to reselect your class, which means like, say I'm playing T-Rex, right? And I die. I have to pick a different class or I have to reselect the class. So that leaves an opportunity for people to swoop in and steal your class. Like in the old days of the game, when the game was a busted mess, even more busted than it is now. So I've heard people complaining about this. I don't like the sound of it because, you know, I don't really think you should be forced to switch off a class just because the Gaming Raptor 2009 wanted to play T-Rex. But, I mean, we'll see how it works once we get in-game. Anywho, if we go into the store, we still have a bunch of Ceratosaurus options for us to buy. Uh, we have the- this is new, the Terracana Skin Pack gives you five Terracana Skins. Um, new mutations, I'll go over those real quick. Uh, so first we have the Yangchuang Acro, which is obviously Yangchuanosaurus. Uh, skin is pretty nice, mutation's pretty nice. Overall, really good. Only reason I'm not getting this one is because I have so many acro mutations already, and truthfully, there's another mutation I'm more inclined to spend money on. But, uh, yeah, if you like Yangshuanosaurus, then, like, I don't see why you shouldn't get this one, because the model is really good. Uh, we've got the Mastiff Rex. Uh, uh... Uh. Moving on, we have the Pterodostris Pteranodon, and, like, I, I love Pterodostro, right? I think he's a really cool pterosaur with all the bristles. The main thing I don't like about this is, I mean, I'm not too big on this skin personally, but, like, that's not too big of a deal because you could just pick a different skin anyway. I think it's so ridiculous how, um... Pteranodon mutations are forced to have a crest, regardless of whether the species had it or not. Because Pterodostro, like, didn't have a crest like this. He was just, like, flathead. I, I guess you could say it's so people don't mistake it with Tupundactylus, but come on. How are you gonna mistake this for Tupundactylus? It doesn't even have, like, the big head crest. So, I don't know. That kinda sucks. And it's, like, it's not the mutation creator's fault, because I think it's a requirement to have the crest for it to be accepted, which I think is a stupid rule personally, but hey, whatever. Uh, we had three new Cerato skins added. We have the Swamp Ceratosaurus, which this one is based on the Ceratosaurus skin from Carnivore's Dinosaur Hunter, if any of you know what that game is. It's like the one with like all the weird graphics. I think it was from like 1999. I don't know, but I, I, I used to play it on mobile when I was... Like, I don't know, 10, 12 maybe? I, I always love skins that are a nod to um, 
other dinosaur media. We have the Muerta Ceratosaurus, which <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda tempted to buy this one. I think it was originally based on Jurassic Park 3 Ceratosaurus, but then they went a little crazy with it, and it ended up looking like a Jurassic Park Ceratosaurus toy anyway. Although I'm not too sure. So if like the skin creator or anyone who like knows about this skin sees this video, leave a comment and like tell me like what the exact origin for this skin is, because it's really nice. I'm actually considering getting it. And then we have the Archipelago Ceratosaurus. Um, I like the white face. Um, the rest doesn't really, like, suit me, but it's not, like, a bad skin by any means. It's just not my thing, personally. Also, they improved the lighting in the game, so it makes everything look a lot better. Also, I believe they brought back a bunch of old skins. Uh, they brought back Atlantic Spino, which is the Spino skin that I use most. Kinda sucks, because now I'm not gonna be the only one who ever uses it, but hey, you can't hide skins from people forever. Um, I actually wanted to rebuy this, not rebuy, but like, get this mutation when it came back, and thankfully it's back. This is the Novus Rex, and I don't know, I didn't really care for it at first, but it's grown on me over time. Like, not because it's a bad model, but just because I wasn't a fan of like the skinny Rex, but this has really grown on me, and I've begun to really like the Novus Rex. Uh, Sucus Spino has returned. I don't know why it's priced at $6, because if I've gotta be honest, <laughs> I don't think anyone's gonna buy a mutation that is just this subtle of a change. Like, it just changes the jaw shape, that's literally it. And the new generation's Carno has returned. So yeah, old skins added back, and finally, the one that I'm going to be buying right now. The Brutus Carnotaurus, because, oh my god, look at this thing. It's by Mr. Troodon, if you couldn't already tell. Oh, I love it so much. It makes me so happy. It reminds me of Disney's Dinosaur Carno. 12 seconds later. And there we go, Brutal Carnotaurus skin and Brutus Carno. Ground itself trembles in fear as this beast approaches. You bet your ass it does. Especially when I'm the one playing it because everyone is going to die. I'm just that good of a Carno player, guys. So let's put this bad boy on. Goodbye, Diablos Carno and your four horns. Look at it. It's so... Oh man, it looks so good on the Glacier Carno. Um, except for one thing, and that's that the stupid horns from the skin itself are still there. And like, I know I've ranted about it a ton, but I don't know why they still haven't fixed the way Longhorn, uh, Carno skins don't work on mutations. Like, if I set it to Juvencus, then it just, again, the horns show up, and it's just still there. If it, I mean, it looks cool on Diablos. But that's about it. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's very hard to fix. I mean, it's not too bad on uh, Brutal Carno, just because the actual model horns cover it up most of the way. I don't know, man. Only time will tell. Dinosauriac, if you're watching this, please do it for me. <laughs> fix the Carno Longhorns on mutations, please. I will love you forever, my guy. In other news, Ceratosaurus has a default mutation now. And it's the Falsatus, or Falcatus Serato. I don't know. A tomato, tomato. So yeah, it just curves the horns forward. So it's pretty, pretty nasty, not gonna lie. So anyway, let's use this bad boy in game, shall we? Can we play Carno? We can. Oh wow, I'm surprised. You know, I might have just stole someone's Carno slot. The extra horns aren't horribly noticeable on Brutal Carno, just because of the position that it's in. But like, it's still gonna bother me. <laughs> Please, Dinosauriac, <laughs> hear my prayers, almighty Dinosauriac. Oh, that Carno just got toasted. That was not a Gaming Beaver reference. Keep the toast jokes to Gaming Beaver. I'm not synonymous with toast. I have nothing against toast. It's just that I'm pesky, not toast. Oh, well, I'm, oh, yeah, well, they changed the knockback, all right. I was not expecting to launch him so far. I, I am, like, so brain dead this match. Hello, sniper. Nice dodge attempt. Oh, it was Maxentia. Hello, Maxentia. You know, the funny thing is Maxentia uses, like, the same exact loadout as me now, because, uh, he bought the Brutal Carno, too. So we both use Glacier Carno, Control Collar, and, uh, wait, did I list them all? Brutal Carno, Control Collar, Glacier Carno. There, yeah, that's our exact loadout, so it's kind of funny. Hello, Trapper. Bonk, bonk. Oh, it's so nice having, uh, knockback fixed. Can I bonk this guy? I hit him. Oh, I thought he was gonna- Oh god, okay, okay, run, 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 run. 
Oh yeah, also, I could be wrong, but I believe, because I didn't see it in the patch notes, maybe I just glanced over it, but I think Pathfinder got nerfed again. And, uh, oh, hello. You little bastard. Alright, nice. I thought I was gonna die there, but I believe they nerfed Pathfinder again. Which, I mean, I main Pathfinder, and I wanted him to get nerfed. So, that kind of just goes to show how bad it was. Oh my god, that combo! You saw that, didn't you? Just the charge head swing combo, hell yeah! Carnotaurus time for the win. That was really cringy, I will never say anything like that again. Speaking of cringy, there's a scientist up here. Let's be real, Brutal Carnomute, 20 out of 10. You bet your ass it is. Oh, oh god, I took a lot of damage. Okay, we got a kill though, and now we just, uh... Yeah, run this way. We'll be fine. See, I'm playing especially conservatively, just because I don't want to die and have someone yoink my slot. Although, at the same time, I am kind of curious to see how it works, so... Alright, is that a sensor mine? Sensor mine. Okay, I'm highlighted for the enemy team right now. So that's a slight problem, but it's okay. Can I hit him through the wall? Nope, I can't, because the terror took him away. Alright, I'm just gonna... Oh! Thanks, Carno, for the assist. There we go. Man, I am such a master at holding shift and W. I'm so good at this game. That missed? Okay, then. Nope, <laughs> I don't think so, buddy. Get out of here, Captain Hadley. More like Private Hadley. <laughs> Get it? Because you have a lower rank. Nice teabag, pounce spammer. <laughs> I love seeing the salt in Primal Chat sometimes. It's funny. Alrighty, boys. Let's see here. We've got some goobers in here. And I just bonked two of them. And now if I bonk them again... Oh, I got one of them. I didn't even notice. Okay. Um, you're low health. Unfortunately, my turn radius is garbage. Oh, God. Okay, we're good. Uh, if I could just turn around right here. And, okay, Raptor, fine. Steal my kill. I don't care. Man, either this human team is bad, or I just have amazing situational awareness. Because I have not died once yet. Probably a bit of both, to be honest. I mean, to be fair, if you're on human team and you're losing on utility base, then <laughs> there's kind of a problem there. Um, yeah, I can't get up there without being a- Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, thank god I have knockback again. Thank god. Because I just intimidated everyone out of the way with that. Bonk. Um, can we bonk this guy? Bonk. Okay. We are doing really well right now. Uh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Dude, I am on fire. I am just mowing- I- I just mowed through all of them. Obviously with the help of the other car now. But, I mean, my point still stands. Bonk. <laughs> Oh, the knockback is great. I love it. I love it so much. Carno is- I'm gonna play Carno so much more now. Just because of the knockback. Okay, got the kill, got the kill. Now we run, now we run. Because, uh, okay, pesky pro tip here. I always tend to retreat when I have, like, 40 to 50% health left. That, uh, well, not necessarily as, like, a little guy, but when I'm, like, a Carno or a Tyrant, that's when I usually retreat. When I hit, like, that half health range, give or take. Oh, you know, I meant to buy a gift to give out to the server, because I didn't- I, I, I mentioned I'd do it in, like, the last couple videos, but I just haven't done it. So, uh, you know what? No, I want to finish my Carnotaurus round, and once I get humans, then I'll pause to open the gift. Okay, let's see here. Um, they're gonna run up here. Can we hit them? No, we can't. No, we can't. Turn around, turn around. Alright, um, the raptor got her. Hello. What? That, well, that was a hit. I, it made the sound and everything. Oh god, oh god, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Please don't see me, anybody. Oh no. This- <laughs> Oh, that was a problem. Okay, it's fine, though. I'm just gonna roar and bonk you, and then heal in the process. Good sir, don't do that, please. Okay, one more hit. Uh-oh, double barrel! Okay, well, at least we can see how we die now. Like, how it is when we die. Okay. Okay, so we were able to select right away. I feel like it'll only really be a problem if someone, like, the Gaming Raptor 2009, I know I already made that exact joke earlier, but I don't really give a fuck. If they're, like, following you around as a Dilo when you're playing a Tyrant, actively waiting for you to die, and then they switch class. So, it doesn't seem too horrible right- Oh god, okay, I lost all my momentum. There we go. I love the head swing on Karno. Oh, thank you, Tupa. 
That was like a gamer move. Pro gamer combo from Pesky and Banana. Thank you, Banana. Very cool. All right, I'm just gonna follow this Carno because then I can steal his kills. It's pretty scummy of me, but yeah, like that. <laughs> When you run into into a uh, oh god double kill nice but yeah when you're running into a uh, crowded space with two carnos it and you're one of the carnos okay can you not shoot me buddy but yeah if you're running into a crowded space and you're a carno and you're going in with another carno you always want to be the second carno because the carno is gonna run in bonk a bunch of people but not kill them. And then since you're the second one, you run in, bonk them all, except this time they do die. Because, you know, they're already damaged from the first Karno. Okay, yeah, there definitely was a pathy change, because they're talking about it in chat right now. Can we bonk this guy? Um, we almost did, but the Dilo killed him. That's fine. It's called teamwork. Okay, yep. Kill combo. Kill combo for the Karno. I love it so much. It's so good. There we go. Got the kill. Bonk. Bonk. Nice. Wow, we rinsed that match. 24 kills, 1 death? I mean, I joined halfway through the match, so 24 kills in like 10 minutes is pretty good. Oh, yep, th there's Max with the Glacier Brutal Collar. <laughs> Same exact loadout as me. It's kind of cool because I get to see what I look like from a different perspective. Yep, that's Max, alright. So if all went well, Pathfinder should be a strictly melee class now. So basically close range combat. And that's the way I prefer my Pathfinder, to be honest. Oh, oh, uh, um, well, I mean, if he was on full health, <laughs> then that shouldn't have been a kill. But if he was low, then okay, it's fine. Uh, hello, Max. Wow, damn. I respect the dodge. Hi, Spino. How's it going? Yeah, this is what you gotta do as Pathy. Just close range melee combat. Uh, yeah, no. Oh, that was a bad idea. That was a really bad idea. I just, I, I saw a low health target, and I was just like, go for it. Oh god, it's Pug Rex. It's the Pug Rex. It's, it's the ugly Rex mutation. Okay, this is personal. Okay, good. At least it died. If I died to that thing, I would have been so embarrassed. I probably would have ended the video right there, to be honest. Uh, we've got a bird flying over here. Hello, buddy. Okay, yeah, wow, they really nerfed Pathfinder's range. Which, I mean, I'm not complaining. It was bullshit before. Okay, now I know not to waste my shots. Hello, Max! Uh, oh, god, the knockback is so weird. It's so weird having knockback back again. Uh, oh god, oh fuck, oh god. Wait, that killed? That didn't hit me. Okay. Yeah, I don't think so, dude. Wait, that didn't ki That didn't kill? Are you serious? A tomahawk plus a shotgun? Right to the face? I hope that wasn't a result of the nerf and just, like, bad aim on my part. Spino, please don't. Don't don't even try it right now. I'm not in the mood to get harassed by defaults. Kinda wish I got that kill, but like whatever. Oh! <laughs> I mean I, I went for the shot. I was like, how did that miss? Uh sniper. Snipe that guy. Okay. Max, you fool! Oh, how did that miss? Oh god, it's the Rex player. Hi, Rex player. Can you- oh, no. What in the hell was- oh. I got the kill? Holy, okay then. I I'll take it. I will gl- That did not hit me. It's always the green cryos, the ones that use the green skins that are, uh, the annoying ones. The try-hard cryos. I don't know where he went, damn it. See what I mean? I mean, I say they're try-hard, but, like, I'm the one playing Pathfinder. Then again, I guess all the human classes are kind of try-hard. And, okay, got another kill with a tomahawk. Interesting, interesting. Oh, god. Bruh, I shot you in the stomach. You should have dropped me. Hang on. Okay, we got him as we fell, though. So, that's always a plus. See, if a uh, Pteranodon picks you up, and then you shoot it and kill it as it drops you, and you still die, it's still technically a win. Because you made the Pteranodon main sad, and making Pteranodon main sad is always a good thing. Okay, that was just a shotgun blast and a half. Once upon a time, there was a Cryolophosaurus player, and he was using a green skin, and... 
there was a Serato using a green skin too. Oh, yup, now I can't pick Pathfinder. Wow. Way to ruin my game. Like, oh, that's annoying. I don't like that. Like, and I've been playing Scientist a lot too, so like, it's, it's not the fact that I have to play Scientist right now, because I don't mind playing Scientist, but it's the fact that I wanted to play Pathfinder that particular round, and now I'm not allowed. That's annoying. See, that that's the part where I think it should just be, like, optional for, like, just a server option. The server owner can pick whether they want the Force Class Select thing to be a thing. That was just cruel and unusual punishment right there. Oh, nice, we got that. <laughs> Get wrecked, buddy. Like, you I, you just shouldn't be able to yoink somebody's class like that. You can go for the argument of like, oh, well, there's Tyrant Hogs, and then other players can never get good at playing Tyrant. But, yeah, but it works both ways. Like, if a, if a, like, a new player picks Tyrant, right? and then they die, and someone else steals their spot, how are they ever gonna get better? Because when you play Tyrant for the first time, you're gonna die a lot. So your odds of getting your slot stolen are just so much bigger. You know what I mean? Oh, nice, got that. Like, it, it just doesn't, it, see, it seems counterintuitive to me. Like, if you wanna aid new players in playing Tyrant, Oh my god, I am- oh, that was my friend Red that I just killed. Sorry, Red. <laughs> yeah, if you want to aid new players, just, like, let them play Tyrant for a whole round. You know what I mean? I don't see what the problem is there. I am- oh god, how did I not land any of those? I'm an idiot. 97 XP assist. That's a blue ball and a half if I've ever seen it. Oh my god, okay, Terra. Yep, still can't select Pathfinder. <laughs> I stole that net hard. Um, yeah, you can steal nets now on Absentia. Because uh, nets give, like, crazy XP assists now. So, you know, that's a thing. <laughs> oh, that was karma if I've ever seen it. Okay, now I... Okay. You know what? I say we just wait on the class select screen for a pathy to die. And I'll show you how exploitable this is. A few moments later. There we go. Just like that. I just yoinked Pathy from somebody who died. That's dumb as hell. Like, that, that shouldn't be a thing you can do. Like, I might have just ruined somebody's day there. And now they have to play, like, Pyro or something. <laughs> and that's just mean, honestly. Alright, well, I may as well use this time to add some money to my Steam account and buy that gift I was talking about. So naturally, as a YouTuber, I have to virtue signal and show what a good Samaritan I am. So, we're just gonna go to the store. Uh, bundles, I think? Yep, uh, 2020 Summer Lover's Gift. And <laughs> the only reason I'm buying this is because I get an Oviraptor collar for, um, you know, actually opening the gift. <laughs> is it a dick move of me? No, it, I'm still being generous. It's just some motivation. I mean, let's be honest, selflessness is overrated. Anyway, we go to customization. Uh, inventory, summer lover's gift. Open this gift. Uh, there we go. And there we go, Oviraptor control collar. So, yeah, neat. <laughs> Oh, poor Eddie didn't get anything. I'm sorry, Eddie. Burnout Carno, Fawn Cryo, Blooming Tupa. Um, I don't know what any of those are. Now we take our Oviraptor. Cosmetic. Um, oops, wrong one. Uh, wait, I can't put a collar and shackles on at the same time? That's stupid. Huh, okay then, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, Oviraptor control collar, yeah. Oh no, this doesn't work on the Cornatus Oviraptor? Oh, damn it, that sucks, mate. Why does every mutation that I regularly use not work with the cosmetics I like? This sucks. Oh, man. Dude, that sucks so much. <laughs> oh god, I wanna die right now. Uh... Yeah, Spino, no. You're a failure. Sorry, I'm not letting you kill me. 
for the record, I'm not letting anything kill me. I'm, I'm surviving for this next second. Okay, wait, can we kill the spinal like this, though? If we just hold our mouse like- Yes, we can! Nice! <laughs> okay, uh, 14 kills, 11 deaths. Uh, not great, not gonna lie. But then again, I was rambling the entire time, so, eh, it's okay. Um, Carno? No Carno. Thanks, game. Love ya. Oh, there we go. We got Carno. Uh, so, yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like. Um, please subscribe, hit the like button and the bell thing. If you stuck around to the end, you obviously care enough about my content to hit the bell, so you definitely should do that. Uh, gripes with this update, not a fan of the respawn system, just make it a server option on whether you want that to be the way the respawning works or not. Just make it a server option, in my opinion. And please fix Corner Longhorns. I will be so happy.